What's going on guys? It's Chris and welcome to the primetime series. I just want to say you guys have been absolutely killing it on my previous uploads. If you guys are more interested in learning about Coach Prime, aka Deion Sanders, go ahead and check out these videos up above. But you guys saw the title of this video, so let's just go ahead and get started. If you follow college football at all, you've heard of Coach Prime and of the changes he's making at Jackson State University. And for those of you that don't know, I live in Jackson, so I'm always hearing about this. I actually play college football at Mississippi College. It's a Division II school, and I mean, news about this has just gone crazy. I remember driving to Jackson State and seeing how many people were at the Alcorn and Jackson State game, but it wasn't always that way as of recently. So what has Deion Sanders done at JSU to change the program forever. And those of you that maybe don't know Coach Prime that well, he is the only athlete to have won a Super Bowl and a World Series. Well, this is be a Bo Jackson going over. Now he played football one day, played baseball the same night. Deion Sanders plays it around second. It's like our gravity doesn't govern him. And they're waving him over. Now you have this insanely talented and successful athlete, possibly one of the most successful athletes of all time, going to Jackson State. And what starts happening? Well, things start to change. But there was a period between 2014 and 2020 where none of their coaches had a winning record. And as soon as Dion shows up. In 2021, they ended up winning the SWAC championship, going 11-1 for the season. That was Deion Sanders' first full season. But once they transitioned to a regular football schedule, they were undefeated in their conference, only losing one game that whole season. I mean, how else do you explain going from this to this? And along with the success, Deion Sanders ended up recruiting a lot of talent to go to JSU. Travis Hunter, the top recruit in the nation, ended up committing to Jackson State. And I just gotta say, it's just crazy to me how one person can make or break a program or one person can just change everything. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this as well. How much of JSU's current success has been from the coaching changes and how much of it has been the new recruits, the four, the five stars that wanna play for JSU now. Along with these top recruits that are committing to JSU, you also have a YouTuber that goes by the name of Destroying making videos there. If you're watching me, you probably watch his videos too, okay? <laughs> Let's be honest. He's got like over 4 million subscribers. He's probably the largest football, like individual, content creator on YouTube, and that just adds to the hype. And now people get to see a huge content creator go and make videos there. I mean, that's huge. That's gotta be huge for their program. And I don't see this slowing down anytime soon. I mean, who knows what the future of JSU looks like. They're talking about possibly getting a new stadium on campus. There's just so many possibilities. And I'm really excited to make content about JSU and their journey of just improving and changing the culture there. I mean, the SWAC championship versus uh, Prairie View uh, School, I believe. You're talking about an SEC level amount of people here at this game, like that is absolutely crazy. And one thing I love about Dion is that he really seems to be a down to earth kind of guy. He really cares about his team from the content that I've seen and his coaching style. He's really constructive on what he says. He's not like yelling at him for no reason. And you know, from what I've seen on YouTube, and there's been a lot of other creators like the pregame show and destroying that have been, you know, making content about JSU. Those of you that might be newer to my channel I do like to talk about scripture on this channel and I think there's a lot of biblical principles that apply to this there's a story in the Bible that maybe a lot of you are familiar with where Pharaoh isn't letting the Israelites go after being enslaved for 400 years and Pharaoh is the deciding factor between the Israelites leaving and them staying and because one person who is Pharaoh decides to keep them there they have to stay one person so Pharaoh chose to use his authority for wicked ways just for his own gain, but I really see Deion Sanders making a change here and pouring into these people, so I'm really excited to see 
just where JSU ends up. You guys let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. You guys have been absolutely killing it in the comment section recently, so I really appreciate it. Make sure you comment prime time if you wanna see me go one-on-one -on -one versus Coach Prime. That's kind of the goal of the series. It's kind of a little joke that I like to throw in there. Maybe you'll see these videos eventually, I'm not sure. But without further ado, that's gonna end it off for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.